Okay, we're in the attic now and looking differently. It's me and, and Laura. There she is. And we've got some more people over here we want to talk to in a second. Some of our crew people. Maybe. We'll get to them in a second. I'm going to just hand this over to Laura in a bit. But this is attic space. This is where most of the weatherization work is done. This is where we make the biggest impact. And we're going to find out about some of the stuff that we commonly do in attics in just a second. So, Laura. Yes. Take it away here. I got this. Hold on. I got okay. this. I got you covered. Oh, okay. Awesome. Well, let's go deeper into the attic. Um, and, you know, one of the reasons why I love weatherization is because it's truly like the heart and soul of energy efficiency. It just doesn't get any less exciting but more important than this. And attic spaces are... You know, we live in a cold climate, so warm air rises, right? So we can achieve a lot of energy efficiency by air sealing and insulating in an attic. And so we let's take a look at what kind of air sealing um, these folks are doing. And I don't get it. I don't get any more excited about anything else other than air sealing. So let's let's get a closer look. And we got Andy here and Peter. Peter. Yep. Yeah. So, so the air sealing here is uh, basically a soil soil stack or a vent stack that we had to seal around because it's a penetration that goes all the way down to the basement. That is awesome. And so with warm air rising in a building by foaming around that, then you, you're keeping all that warm air down, down the, where it's supposed to be. Where it should be. Yep. Yeah, I love it. Um, what about bath fans? Do you guys run into any bath Peter, you fans? you want to show bath fan? Sure, we got a bath fan going right over here. Let me come this way. So I got a bath fan that's down into this uh, into this cone here. You can see this cone. So the two fans and two of the units are coming up through here. So this is one unit here okay. that we have made into this brown, and we keep this insulated. And then we take this other one, and we will put it insert this. like so into that and then we will take this and insert it and it'll look like this when we're done at the end so when they turn on their showers all their steam and moisture most importantly moisture will go outside where it belongs and not in the attic that's fantastic so yeah big big important message there is that all bath fans should be vented to the outside of the absolutely. attic absolutely yeah. because you don't want moisture you're just putting moisture into your attic yeah and you don't want that and then where that comes through in the floor there i'm guessing you seal you'll you'll see you'll seal around we, all that we have just sealed like inside yep i i already did that i yep. i have sealed inside this cone yep. completely on the floor and where the two um uh, vent pipes come up. Yep. And uh, yeah. Yeah, no, I got it. The work's <laughs> already been done. Yeah, it has. Excellent. Awesome. Well, those are two, those are all important places to have air sealing and to make sure that your bath fans are venting properly along with kitchen ventilation. Um, and there are many other places that can be air sealed in an attic, but right now these are the, the two that we can, can take a look at. But everything from top plates to around uh, chimneys, uh, yeah. other soil stacks, I mean, you name it. But we want to make that attic floor as tight, as airtight as possible, keeping all that nice warm air that you just paid to heat down in the living area. So lots of good work. We want to keep it as slow as possible, moving up out of your apartment, out into the attic. Keep it slow. So we air seal everything that we can. Yep. Awesome. And then the insulation does what, Laura, after that? So then once you've made the uh, attic as nice and tight as possible as you can, stopping that warm air from rising, then you're just going to uh, be covering, blowing in your, in your fiberglass or your cellulose, um, getting that nice thick thermal blanket just to get that R value uh, up to 50 or 60, just keeping all that heat uh, from, from moving up into the attic as well. So always air sealing and insulation in combination, but always, always air sealing first. Air seal first, insulation later. That is a big weatherization mantra. So yes. energy, energy efficiency just don't just add in attic insulation. You gotta air seal you have first. Have to air seal because the air the air will come right up through the insulation, 
if you don't air seal properly, you have to slow it down. All right, that's Peter, Andy, I think it's <laughs> Laura, and me. Catch you next time. I'll give you the scary shot. See you next time, Project Dome. Happy Weatherization Day. <laughs>